performances. John's longtime friend, Sam Jaffe, played the master criminal. Sterling Hayden was cast as a hood tormented by booze and bad luck. For the role of Angela Finlay, the vulnerable girlfriend of a crooked lawyer, John found an unknown actress named Marilyn Monroe. A friend of mine who was an agent, the name was Johnny Hyde, uh, asked me if he might bring her to the studio and read for me for this picture that was coming up, The Asphalt Jungle. She gave a reading that was extraordinarily good. Uh, she was ideal. She was the girl. However, I had no notion that she was going to go on and be the star that she became. Marilyn always loved John because he was the one director she felt who regarded her as being potentially an actress. He thought she had a future as a dramatic actress. And especially in that time of her life when she was uh, not so regarded, it meant a great deal. The Misfits. I thought of it as a as a role that Marilyn could play. I mean, she was at a stage in her life when uh, really nobody was about to give her a dramatic role because she was essentially a comedian and a light fluff. And I knew better. And uh, it was sort of a gift to her at a certain point. But I wanted it to be an image of a small man against a vast landscape. They were misfits because they couldn't uh, dominate the earth anymore. Hey, why are you killing you? Just stand aside, honey. Okay, you won. All right, you won. You Let's won. Go, then, go. Go. Get out of here. Hey, Johnny. Follow him. Shock him down, Guido. Get off. Do you want him? Get him. Get him. Get Shut up. I'm pulling horse down. Get off. Uh, there was a column written by Hedda Hopper who at that time was the uh, head of the drama section of the newspaper, and she wrote that John actually murdered Clark Gable in those particular sequences, the roping sequences uh, with the wild horses. And all I can say is that uh, she came closer to the wild horses than Clark Gable did. The last shot we did was uh, in a studio here, and uh, he had seen uh, the rest of the film. And he told me that was the best picture he'd ever made. Got into his station wagon, went off, and was dead about two days later of a heart attack. Uh, I thought he was wonderful. He uh, finally got a chance to be uh, the actor he wanted to be. And so forth. I never heard John talk about psychology with anybody. He figured... Uh, Clark Gable knew how to be gay Langland better than he knew how to be him, you know? Or that Marilyn knew how to be this woman better than he knew how to be this woman. Well, most of my directing, so far as the individual, who won't make the kind of mistakes that um, require direction. <laughs>